Hello, uh, welcome back. So, so as you know, all of the UK is on lockdown, which means everything is closed, which also means my gym is closed, which is shit. Um, but the Prime Minister has allowed for one day of exercise. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I've got a plate vest on, 10 kilograms. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk a bit about the coronavirus actually, why this whole thing could actually be a good thing and also why you need to stay fit and healthy during this lockdown. So without further ado, let's get all that. Boys, man, have fun. Well, have fun safely. I will say that. Because I hate myself, I'm gonna be climbing up this hill. I'm gonna try not to break an ankle while I'm doing it. Oh shit, it's slippery. Going all the way up all there. Should be fine. <laughs> Nearly there. Of the hill, it's not a bad view. Do I look a bit like shit? I would hope so after that. Now, here's here's why I'm pissed, okay? Right there, where that pavement is, used to be a bench. I was gonna sit and have a bit of a chat, but I guess I gotta do it standing now. So, fitness, why is it important? Well, especially in this current time. Fitness is important because we need to stay healthy. Everyone is obviously at home in lockdown. We're not staying busy. One of the main things that will change is physical fitness, physical health. People don't realize how busy their lives, their jobs keep them. So it's why you should go out more regularly for workouts. I know that some of you may not particularly go to work out at the gym because you're quite, well you're fine. But in this time, you will find that you will need it, especially with the lack of exercise that you'll be doing. Second of all, mental health. It's not good for anyone to be locked up in their house for long durations of time. You won't notice it because it's not something you usually do, but it will affect you. And it's very important to get out and do something. Be physically active, be healthy, especially now that you're spending time with the same people 24 seven. So your family and friends, whoever you're quarantined with, it's important that you spend time away from them as well. I can guarantee a lot of people will be getting into arguments and fights with their family a lot. Also, if you have friends that suffer from mental health, message them because this is a difficult time. Not only for the, the physically weak because they're more likely to catch the coronavirus, but a lot of people who struggle with mental health are currently sat at home doing nothing and it's taking a toll. So send someone you love a message. Just let them know that they're being thought about and I'm sure they'll think about you too. Coronavirus, I mentioned I'm going to talk about why it could be a good thing. So obviously, there's nothing good about a virus that's wiping out a bunch of people. People are losing their families, um, their friends and everything. It's, it's obviously a difficult time, I understand that, but I think this could be a wake-up call. Ever since lockdowns have happened around the world, the earth has become better. The ozone layer is healing. There's a lot less pollution in places like China. I think it could be a wake-up call for, for our environment. Obviously, we've been talking about for years how the planet's dying. We need to take action to help it. But let's be honest, no action has really been taken. All we really have is a young girl called Greta Thunberg who just screams at us for being shit to the world. <laughs> which is fair enough. We just need to 
actually start doing stuff and I think this could be a possible wake up call for that. The only reason I say that coronavirus could be a good thing is because I believe in a balance. I believe that if something majorly shit happens it will usually be followed by something great and if something great happens it will usually be followed by something pretty shit. That's kind of my belief system but right now I need to get back into the workout mindset and get back on my run. Hi buddy. Well something went wrong with my GoPro so it stopped recording but I finished my run anyway. About nine kilometers. Oh, I tell you what, taking off that weight vest is amazing. I feel like a feather. Before I go any further, I'm gonna clean off, take a shower, just wipe any coronavirus I may have caught on me. And uh, I'll continue the rest of this video. But uh, that, that bush got me quite good, not gonna lie. Right, so last but not least, use this time to your advantage. It's not often that people get to spend time on their own and be independent. I think as a society, we've become very dependent on other people. We require approval. And I think that there is a serious lack of, of just being happy with, with yourself. So I think during this time when we're all in lockdown and in self-isolation, use this time well to learn more about yourself. Learn how to make yourself happy instead of having to depend on other people to do that. It's just, it's such an important point which isn't thought about at all by anyone because instantly people think, oh, you know, I'm kind of bored, I'll phone up a friend and I'll go out with them and then I'll be happy because I'll be, I'll be doing something with a friend, which is true, yeah, but you're depending on other people for that. It is extremely important to be able to be independent and, and be happy with yourself. Find out what you love. I know it can be quite difficult because you can't go out in public, but just try a few things that you've never done before at home. Learn to make yourself happy rather than depending on other people. I mean, I've spent most of my life being very independent, very on my own. I've never really had a, a very tight group of friends. I mean, I have people that I know. Being that independent isn't always good. As, as It's important to be around other people and be socially active. I think that it's it's been good for me in, in the sense that I'm more happy and content with myself. Sometimes I do need help, just like any person does. At some point in your life, you will need help from others. and. And I do have people that I can fall back on if I really want to, but knowing that I, I can do it myself is actually quite comforting. So while it's just as important to be socially active, it is also just as important to be alone, to be able to be happy and comfortable with yourself. You know, a lot of people now are, are, are taking up things on social media, posting like challenges and stuff on social media to stop them from being bored. Well, there you go, that's just the perfect example. We can't go out and see our friends so we're doing it over social media. We do all these challenges so we get that, that feedback and that approval from others over social media through likes, comments and all of that, which is just a, just the perfect example, really. Still still keep in touch with your friends, keep your friends, obviously. But you know, th this is happening and, and you might as well use it to your advantage. So get creative, do whatever. At the end of the day, the only person that can really make you happy is you. So no one in the world, no one in the entire world can get to know you more than yourself which means no one can make you happy like you can make yourself happy and you know i found that the happier you are with yourself the less angry and annoyed that you are about others like all this dramatic shit you're able to just brush off because you're happy with yourself and at the end of the day it doesn't matter i know that you're probably you know sat here watching this thinking you just chat shit you don't know what you're on about well i do <laughs> okay and you know, I, I've, I've been through this stuff, okay? It's, it's experience is what I'm talking from, okay? But anyway, those are my points. That's why I think that this whole lockdown coronavirus shit could actually be a good thing for people. Sometimes you need to take a step back to take two steps forward. Even if you take two steps back and one step forward, it's still a step forward. But I hope you've liked this video. I hope that the points that I've made has, has somewhat opened your mind to different possibilities and perhaps you'll try some of them, I don't know. I hope you do. Let me know if you do. Let me know what else you want me to talk about. Perhaps you want me to go into more depth in one of the topics I mentioned. So the self-isolation, the mental health side, the physical side. I don't know, whatever you want me to go deeper in, just let me know in the comments. But as for today, I think that's it. I'm gonna end the video here. So I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And while we're in isolation, feel free to check out all my other videos. <laughs> See if my channel is something you like, and if so, subscribe to it. You have nothing to lose, it's free. 
But yeah, I hope you have a good rest of the day, a good night, wherever you are in the time of day. I don't know when you're watching this, but uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Goodbye.